Here's an example of a derivative that uses the signum function. Signum is Latin for sine, but if we say the sine function, people will think we're doing trigonometry. So we say signum function, and it's written SGN. Some books write SIGN. The signum of x is negative 1 if x is negative, 1 if x is positive, and 0 if x is 0. This is useful because that means that x is signum x times the absolute value of x. I'll also point out that if x is not 0, 1 over signum x is the same thing as signum x. Now for the example. Suppose we have f of x is the absolute value of x raised to the r, where r, I'm going to say, is greater than 1. How do we find the derivative of that? If x is greater than 0, then absolute value of x is just x, and this becomes easy. f of x is x to the r, so f prime is r x to the r minus 1. That also means r absolute value of x to the r minus 1. That's if x is positive. x to the r is an even function, because absolute value of x is even. If you plug in x or negative x, you're always going to get the same thing. On the open interval from 0 to infinity, this function is continuous and differentiable, and it's even. Therefore, on negative infinity to zero, it is also continuous and differentiable, and the slope is exactly the negative of the slope on the other side. So f prime of negative x is negative f prime of x. Now, if I'm going to use a signum function, I have to take care of the case zero. For that, we use the definition of the derivative. f prime of zero is limit h approaches zero, f of zero plus h minus f of zero over h. This becomes f of h over h. f of h is absolute value of h to the r. And h I'll replace with signum h times absolute value of h, like we can do. Then we can cancel an absolute value of h. We're dividing by signum, but since we're taking the limit, we're not at 0. So we can make it multiply by signum. And finally, we let h go to 0, and we get 0. The derivative of this function is signum x times r times absolute value of x to the r minus 1.